Chalcayo. Chalcayo. What does it mean? Today, on One Korean Word Today, we're going to study about the word Chalcayo. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time on here at the Hangul. Word number 150. Chalgayo. Chalgayo. This is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is jal, second syllable is ga, the third syllable is yo. Pronounce it with me. Chalgayo. Chalgayo. The meaning of this phrase is goodbye. Again, the meaning of chalgayo is goodbye. How do we write chalgayo in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable Jal in Hangul, we need to draw first a Jiyut character, followed by an A character, followed by a real character. For the second syllable Ga, we need to draw first a Gyuk character, followed by an A character. For the last syllable Yo, we need to draw first a placeholder Iyeng or a no sound Iyeng, followed by a Yo character. And then we just have to combine this to form the Hangul of Chal Gayo. Now that we have an idea about the meaning of the word or phrase jagayo, let's also try to look into this example phrase. It says, go well or goodbye. The Korean translation of this is also just jagayo. Again, the Korean translation of go well or goodbye is jagayo. The jal part means well, and the gayo part means go. So, if we combine this, it would result to a phrase that means to go well. But in real life situation, we don't say go well. Instead, we say goodbye. Take note that there are two cases of saying goodbye. One case is that you are leaving, and the second case is that you are staying. And take note that this is used when you are staying. So, we say go well to friends that are leaving. Going back to the example phrase at the start of the video, we already know by now the meaning of the phrase chagayo is simply go well or goodbye to person leaving a place. And with that, you've just learned chagayo. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 140 to 149. But don't forget, our word for today is word number 150, Jalgayo, which means goodbye. And this is said to a person leaving a place while you are staying. Word number 149 is Hanbon. This means once. Word number 148 is Sarang, and this is a Korean noun for love. Word number 147 is Ajuma, and this is the Korean noun for an old woman which is approximately of the same age as our mother. Word number 146 is Ajusi, and this is the Korean noun for an old man which is also approximately of the same age as our father. Word number 145 is Imo, and this is the Korean noun for aunt. Word number 144 is Samchan, and this is the Korean noun for uncle. Word number 143 is Jame, and this is the Korean noun for sisters. Word number 142 is Yongje, and this is the Korean noun for brothers. Word number 141 is Dongseng, and this is the Korean noun for younger sibling. And the last for this review is word number 140, Makne, and this is the Korean noun for youngest sibling, but could also mean the youngest in the family or group. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, on here, at the hangle.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Korean words.